This video will show you how to convert GroupWise addresses to Outlook contacts. It will cover the possibility that your organization is simultaneously changing email addresses and that you only have the possibility to export from GroupWise in NAB format. First we need to create a folder where we can put the contacts that we are exporting from GroupWise to Outlook. In this case we're going to the desktop, anywhere in the open space, right click, the options that come up go to New, left click, and up to Folder, left click. It will create a new folder which you can rename anything that you want to. In this case we're just going to type in Old Contacts and hit Enter. This will bring up the New Contacts folder and leave it on your desktop. Open GroupWise. Go to the upper left hand corner and click on Address Book. For your particular arrangement this may be further over but you want to open the address book. That is where we will spend the rest of our time in GroupWise. In the address book you want to locate the file folder that has your name on it. You do not want to export all of frequent contacts because that includes everything that you've received from anyone. It may include spam, it may include regular digest or distribution list, so that's not what you're wanting to export. What you're wanting to export are the addresses and the contacts that are in your particular folder. Or if you have other address books that you have created, those if you're in the condition where your system is also changing email addresses at the same time that they are changing over from GroupWise to Outlook, you also want to ignore anything that has your old email addresses from within the company. In other words, you're only looking to import or export external email addresses. So once you find the folder that has your name on it, click on the plus mark next to it to see if you have any distribution list. To keep the distribution list as such, you need to change these to full address books. So the first thing we'll do is we will create address books for each of these groups. In this particular situation, since we are assuming that the email addresses are changing, officers would be a group within our company, and so we will not export that one. The weekly review meeting would be a mixed meeting in this case, and external partners would all be external, so we would take that whole group. To start this process, we create a new address book for the two groups, weekly review and external partner, that we want to take from. You can use Control N to create a new address book, or you can use File, New Book. Do not use the new that's up here in the corner that will not give you a new book. So Control N or File, New Address Book. It comes up with a name. You can put the same name that you had for your previous meetings or groups. These names do not need to stay the same. When you bring them into Outlook, you can change them again. This is just so that you remember what they are. So again, we go not this new, but file, new book. We did our weekly review meeting. Now we will do our external partners. Click OK or Enter. And we have our weekly review meeting and external partners. Now we need to put each of those groups in here. External partners, because we're using the whole group, we will start there. Click on external partners. Click on the right side of the screen. Use control A to select everything. And we drag and drop all of those into external partners. We're just copying those names. And so even though they stay on the right side of the screen, they have also gone into that. And we'll review that in a minute. For the weekly review meeting, Let's say that some of these are internal and some of them are external. Let's say that TV.TV is our existing thing. We just want to bring Milburn Drysdale, Ethel Mertz, and Daisy Moses over. We can do this individually by clicking and dragging Daisy Moses from that over to the weekly review meeting. Or, if it is better, we can use a control that's the CTRL key on your keyboard if you're not used to that. You can hold down the control key and click multiple persons at once and drag those over. So you can select and unselect as you wish. Once you get the ones that you want, you again drag and drop those names over to where you want. Those are the ones that we had for weekly review meeting. So we've taken selected ones, the ones that have the external addresses are the ones that we want to keep. We've put those in a weekly review, so you can click on weekly review and see those three. And in external partners we have our whole group and you can click on that and see that those are there. Now that we have done that, we can delete these original groups so that they're not there. If you right click, click delete, it confirms that you want to delete. For each of those, you delete them out. They're gone and you're done. Now, 
you still have the rest of the addresses that are in your name folder. If you are not changing addresses as you move, you would just export this whole folder. If you are changing addresses, now is a time when you can create some new folders and make some address lists to make things easier for you. I have already created new folders of partners, regulatory, resources, vendors, however you feel that it would be useful for you to break groups up in the future. If you're going to have to go through this list and select certain persons anyway, you might as well do it now and group them so that later on if you want to send a meeting to all of your partners, when you're in Outlook you click the partners folder and you don't have to go through the whole list every time. If you simply wanted to create a new book and say these are the ones to export, you can just have export and go through and copy the ones that you wish and put those in and I'm holding the control key down as I click. I pick the ones that I want to export and I can take that whole group over to export and have those all in there. What I'm suggesting is that as long as you're having to choose things, instead of doing them that way, pick the ones that particularly fit into the partners grouping, put those in partners, regulatory resources, whatever fits or works for you so that in your future, every time you send emails out, you've saved time. Now we can go back and check. We have those in export, we have external partners, we have our weekly review, and whatever other folders that we've created. If you've never created an address book before, if you don't even have addresses in the one that was automatically made with your name on it, you can go into frequent contacts and save some of the addresses there. It will take you more time because there's many more there, but you can choose things from your frequent contacts and move them back over into a folder to export just as we have here. Once you have all of your chosen names into the specific books that you want to export, in this case we have put things in weekly review, external partners, export, and partners. You check those to make sure that everything is there and then you start exporting those. To export those you point to the folder, you select it, left click, right click and left click on export book to send the book out. We want to save it in our old contacts folder so we go to our desktop. On desktop we have a folder that says old contacts. You may or may not have options here of Novell address book, vCard addresses, you may have CSV for comma separated values. If you have a CSV option, use that. And then enter the name in the beginning for whatever you wish to export. In this case, we're exporting partners. Again, you can change this name once you're in Outlook. If you do not have the option of CSV or comma separated values, just leave the default, which is Novell address book. It will add an extra step, but you can save it nonetheless. Click Save once we have that done. We go down to our next one, which is our weekly review meeting. We right click, we export the book. Again, you can change to CSV if you need to. In this case, we do not have it. So you change the name to whatever you want to save it. In this case, weekly review meeting. Move down to external partners, export the book. When it comes up, you change to CSV if you can. If you cannot, leave it as NAB and put each of those in that space. Once you have done each of your exported books, then you are finished with GroupWise and you can close the GroupWise.